In this video, we are going to solve these two problems and want to work on ideas of these two problems. So, uh, this problem for part one and Amy problem for part two. So, at first, we are, should check some x's or let's do something here because 8 is what? Is 2 to the 3. x and 4 is 2 squared x. We can write it like this. Then it will be 2 to the 3x. Or we can write it as 2 to the x3. Because we know a to the m to the n equals a to the mn. You can write it also as a to the n to the n. 2 to the x to the 3 plus 2 to the x squared equals 810. Then we can consider a equals 2 to the x. So it will be what? It will be a cubed plus a squared equals 810. Now it is a cubic function. One important idea when the degree is 3. Uh, we should try to find one root. To find one root. And how we can check, for example, 0 plus minus 1. We will see so much as small. Plus minus 2. Plus minus 327. Plus minus 464. Plus minus 5. 1 to 5 plus minus 6. 6 cubed is 216. Plus minus 7, 7 cubed 3, 4, 3. Plus minus 8, 8 cubed is 512. Plus 64 is smaller than this. Plus minus 9. Let's check 9. 9 cubed. Plus 9 squared is what? It's 7 to 9. Plus 81. 1 plus 9 is 0. 1 and 8. So it will be good. And A9 is one answer. Now... Uh, we want to find other answers. Now we can factorize. We can take all things to one side. A cubed plus A squared minus 810 is 0. 1 root is 9, so A minus 9. We place A squared. A cubed minus 9 A squared plus 10A minus 90. And plus 90, it will be 0. Okay. So for this one, we know A is 0. A is 9 if this one is 0. For this one, we should solve quadratic equation. If you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And now here, if you apply, we can see a is negative 10 plus minus square root of b squared 100 minus 4 times 10, 360 over 2. But because inside square root is negative, so we don't have any real answer for a. And the problem says what? The problem says that x here is real number. When x is real number, 2 to the x is also real number. Okay, 2 to the x is positive real number. So we cannot have uh, complex numbers like this. So here... We don't have any answer, so a is 9. a was what? a was 2 to the x. Okay, so we want to find x. So we know that 2 to the x is 9. By the definition of logarithm, when b to the m equals a, it is equivalent that you say log a to the base b is m. So we can say what? x equals log 9 to the base 2. So our answer is this. It is definition of logarithm. Okay, now let's try to solve next problem. This one. Okay, it says find the sum of all positive integers and such that this square root is an integer. So when this square root is an integer, so n squared plus 85n plus 2017 is an integer. So if we raise both sides to the power of 2, so n squared plus 85n plus 2017 equals m squared. Now I want to tell you an identity, a basic identity. It will be id of 4. That a plus b whole squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Because of this identity, I want to write these two things as something squared. To cover n squared and 85. So it will be n plus 85 
over 2 squared. So it will be n squared by applying this formula. n squared plus 2 times this times this, which is 85n, plus 85 over 2 squared. So I should subtract 85 over 2 squared plus 2017 equals m squared. Now we don't like denominators when we are working with integers. So we should multiply both sides by what? To get rid of denominators, we should multiply both sides by 4. So it will be 2n plus 85 squared minus 85 squared plus 2017 equals 4m squared. Now, I want to calculate 85 squared. Okay, let's calculate 85 squared. 85, 85, 5 times 5, 25, 5 times 8, 40, plus 2, 42, 8 times 8, 45, 40, we have 4, 8 times 8, 64, plus 4, 68, so it will be what? It will be 5, 2, 2, 7, okay, and, oh, sorry, here, when we multiply by 4, we should also multiply this one by 4, so plus 4 times 2017. 4 times 2017 is 4 times 7, 28. We have 2. 4 times 1, 4 plus 2, 6. 0, 8. So which one is greater? This one. 4 times this. So we can write the difference is what? 8 minus 5, 3. 6 minus 2, 4. 10 minus 2, 8. 7 minus 7, 0. Equals 4m squared minus 2n plus 85 squared. Again, for this part, we should use another basic identity, identity 5. a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Now here, 843, also if we prime factorize, it is multiple 3, 3 times 2, 24, 8, 1. Now here, is it prime or not? We should check divisibility by 3. It's not divisible by 3, some of the digits, not multiple 5, not 7. We should check up to square root of that, which is less than 17, 30. 11, 22, 51, 61, not multiple of 11, 13, 26, 21, not multiple of 13. So this number is prime. If you want to check a number is prime, you should check up to square root of that, okay? Divisibility by prime numbers, less than or equal square root of that. So it's prime. And here we can apply idea 5. It will be 2m plus 2n plus 85 and 2m minus 2n plus minus 85. We know this one is positive, this one is positive because m and n are positive. Without loss of generality, we can consider m here is positive. And n from assumption of the problem is positive. So what times positive is positive? This one also has to be positive. So, but because uh, n and 85 are positive, this one is smaller than this one. So the case is that we should check our 8, 4, 3, 1, and uh, 3, 2, 8, 1. So this one, 2, 8, 1, 3. If we want to find uh, m, we want to find n first. So this minus, this is what? 2m, 2m will be cancelled if you subtract 2n. Uh, let, let me write like this, if it is hard for you. Case 1, you say 2m plus 2m plus 85 is 4, 8, 4, 3. And 2m minus 2n minus 85 is 1. Then if we subtract this one minus this one, 2n minus 2n, 4n plus 85 minus minus 85, 170 equals 8, 4, 2. So if we subtract 170 from both sides, it will be 2. 7 and 6. And if we divide both sides by 4, n will be 1, 27, 6, 32, 8. So n is 1, 6, 8. And you can check also n will be okay because look here it's even. It's odd, odd. So you can take all these things. Right side will be even. So you can divide by 2. You can reach n. Similarly, if you do the same thing, again, this one minus this one. For second case, is 4n plus 170 again. In this case, 281 minus 3 will be 278. Now, if you subtract 170 from both sides, it will be 8. It will be 0. It will be 1. 
And if you divide both sides by 4, then n will be 2 times 4, 8, 28, 27. So first answer is 168. Second answer is 27. So our answer will be what? 168 plus 27. 7 plus 8, 15. We have 16 plus 8 plus 1, 9. 195. Okay. So we solved also this problem. If you want to learn other ideas in Amy and other exams, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description.